one night only indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, I am The Answer ASC, and we are here live for Invictus Pro Wrestling's one night only event, TakeOver versus STP. The show is over, and they are taking down the ring. Uh, as you can see, there's not much to be done for the ring crew because TakeOver and STP tore down the ring, tore down the house, blew the roof off the place. I mean, what else can you say? This was a phenomenal event, and of course, it saw STP take the overall win two to one. God, TakeOver did a phenomenal job, but that goes all the way to the first match. Jocko and Face went up against the prolific Moses and the big bad Kaiju O'Shea Edwards. Let's take you to that match right now and let's see how much of an amazing effort both teams put in. He's trying to bring a chair into the match. Don't do this. Come on, this has been a stellar matchup. The faces ones have really... Why the hell does he have a chair? This, this has been a great so match so far. There's no need for this. And now, wait a minute, wait. Oh, oh hell no. No, 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 no. Excuse me, gentlemen. Class up. Pete's getting out of here in a Pete, hurry. Pete Rosado just got up. Wait a minute. What? One. What? Wait, if Pete Rosado's walking to the ring... Pete's saying, no, what did just happen? Pete Rosado, of course, our general manager for the night. And he's having a conference with Nick Shin. And the evidence has been left behind. Sloppy job by the criminals known as the Faceless Ones. Wow. What? He's ordering the match to continue. So this match is not over yet. Pete Rosado getting involved and doing the right thing. And they're getting right back to business here. This is stereo. Oh my we god! Are. Good lord, they're both One, done! Two. No way! That is it! That's what I said! Wow. We saw Jay go and face use the chair and they used the chain. Not gonna fly tonight, gentlemen. That match got restarted and you saw the better team win. You're not gonna use any underhanded shenanigans tonight. The thespian must swallow his pride and admit that I am in fact a hypocrite. I walked out on Dennis Morgan the same way I accused PJ Savage of walking out of sin. I must live with that. I promised Dennis Morgan that I would not cheat in our match against Fight or Die, but I did not promise anyone that I would not walk out when I get upstaged by a fat wallet cretin like Jared Silberkleit. Dennis, you are free of sin. You are free of sin, but you are not free of me. You may walk away, but I want one more performance out of you. Dennis Morgan versus J.S. Hawthorne. That's all. Oh, Jared, you can be the referee. You seem like you could use the money. Like I said, a phenomenal effort by both teams, but on this night, the prolific Moses and the big bad Kaiju O'Shea Edwards took the win and proved that they were the better team. Now, of course, we had another great TakeOver versus STP matchup, and that was the Bodega Street Fight. We had no idea what we were in store for, but folks, you knew that when you put Jay Bougie and the Rev Ron Hunt in the ring together that you were going to get carnage. So much rivalry between these two, and it all came down to this amazing matchup. It's the moment y'all been waiting for. It's the night y'all been waiting for. It's the fight y'all been waiting for. It's the bodega street fight y'all been waiting for. And as you see, I am not alone. I'm in my city. My people's in the crowd. My family's in the crowd. And I got AJ Pan with me. The most professional being of all professional wrestling. And yes, over here, I have the lovely Serenity, or you could call her Lady Shayla, whichever you may do, but keep it respectful at all times. I'm professional. Always professional. Always professional. Because we're professionals. Yeah. Rev, you be talking hard on Twitter. You said, feed me Jay Bougie. And tonight I'm gonna kick your ass. I seen what happened earlier with the faces once. I'm taking that personal. Like I said, I have to win. I will not lose. So understand, when that bell rings, it's personal, baby. It's Mike. I'm okay hey. with that decision. I'm the king of this city. This shit mine. You know there's a match going on, Jay Bougie. You feel me? Enough showboat, Luigi. You take Not that the to church. Take witness, everybody. Hold wait. Serenity and Jay Bougie both through the door. Ron Hibb don't care who's on the other side. He took them both out. Knock, knock, gentlemen. Well, oh. that's what 
Was there anything else for being in the ring during Brian Waters? Brian Waters, two. Oh! No! What was it? Brian oh! Waters said two. I could have sworn I saw three. They oh. were bad from ringside, and I got to make sure. That... What? It's like a shoe. A, a crock what the on, hell? A crock on fire. I've seen it all. He's heating up, gentlemen. Big curb stop in the middle of the ring. The bougie stop. Come on, one. Come on. Come on. What was that count? And That's Brian, the last you, you can tell Brian Waters didn't want to make that count. Can't get enough of the action? We'll check out Invictus Pro Wrestling's next show on June 4th as they combine with Test of Strength Wrestling to present United We Fight. Watch it live on IWTV or head on down to the Columbia Club in Torrington, Connecticut. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. Bell time, 6 p.m. Ichiban, you won your match in a fatal four-way and you came out victorious. So what are your thoughts right now? Ah, yes, yes, the guy I've been meaning to see. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry, honey. I've, I need to see this man right here. Ichiban, I know you. Number one, test of strength, Ichiban. So wow, wow, crazy. So you're the guy that's been capping. You're the guy that's been running around saying that you're number one when everybody knows damn well that cash flow can Broadway. Ichiban, number one. Oh, you think so? If that's right, how about you and me face on June 4th? And I'm going to show you that cash flow is number one. We are at the main event, and this was a main event of epic proportions. We knew that on the card it was signed for PJ Savage to face off against Shane Taylor. However, what we didn't know was that all teams, STP and TakeOver, were going to get involved and make this match pure chaos. But it was Pete Rosado, the general manager on the evening, who did not pick a side. He did not pick TakeOver. He did not pick STP. He lew it right down the line, and he decided that we would see an eight-man tag, an impromptu eight-man tag, and boy, oh boy, did we get an eight-man tag for the ages. I want to take you now to some highlights of this amazing contest. Jersey. STP. And you can see Ron Hunt is sporting a Here we go. Oh my gosh. Take over. STP. It's happening, guys. It's happening. Live from Ridgefield Park, we got fisticuffs, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute. Jacko was behind. I would not personally take them. Oh! One of the best panels you'll see in the business. Code breaker. Double knees. Oh, into the double stop into the lower back. I, oh, my gosh. Something's going on on the outside here, but maybe the package. Second package file driver. It's all academic from here. That's got to be three. One, two, three. Yeah, Shane and Taylor. Shane Taylor Promotions has won the war. Tonight, whether you were Team Takeover or Team Shane Taylor Promotions, one thing is for certain. Both of these teams went at it. They showed some mutual respect. And by God, when we see these two go at it once again, it will be hell on earth. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in to the Invictus Fallout. On behalf of the Independent Epicenter and Invictus Pro Wrestling, I am the answer. ASC signing off. And we will see you right here for Invictus Pro Wrestling's next show, No Questions Asked.